All right, guys. Um, now it's time for the uh, actual final review of the wide wheel. I've put around 50 miles or so on it and uh, pretty impressed. Uh, now, disclaimer, I'm selling them. So, uh, you know, it's a review of the store that's actually selling them. Um, but still, um, I think with some comments and closer video and so on that I'm going to show you, you get a pretty good idea of what you're buying. Um, all right. So, uh, this is the uh, 500 watt single motor model. Um, it only has a motor here in the back. Um, this brake and the front wheel is open, as you can see. If you get the dual motor model, it has a 500 watt motor in the back and a 500 watt motor in the front, so the front wheel will be closed. Obviously, the dual motor model with a 1000 watt is much more powerful, um, can do better inclines and um, roughly 25 to 30 miles an hour. Um, this one, the manufacturer says 25. Um, I like to err on the safe side and I tell you, I can do 20 miles on them, uh, 20 miles per hour. Um, I'm 180 something pounds, so uh, go figure. Uh, the range, I guarantee a range of 15 miles um, with the uh, a relatively fast speed and so on that I've used it, it can do 15 miles. So I think uh, we should be safe on that. Again, the manufacturer does 20, um, but as you probably know, if you've shopped around scooters um, uh, online, uh, usually you get a major overpromise. So with us, Fluid Free Ride, we usually try to tell you how it is. And yeah, this one, 15 uh, mile range, 8.8 .8 ampere hour battery and around 20 miles per hour um, speed. Uh, the dual motor model will do a speed, as said, of 25 to 30 miles per hour and the range should be 5 to 10 miles more because it comes with a 13.2 ampere hour battery. Um, so like a good 50% more. Uh, it obviously needs more power because of the two motors. All right, so uh, what I have to say. So first of all, it's uh, pretty badass looking. Uh, so when I take it down in my building in the elevator, first comments I get is, whoa, dude, where'd you get that? That's amazing. Wow, I've never seen one of these. So uh, yeah, the wide wheels, I mean, it's uh, something that people will ask you about and look at. So that's pretty cool. Um, it is a little more heavy than I thought it would be from, you know, looking at videos online. Um, the actual weight is 30, seven pounds ish um, but uh, you know I mean once you carry it around the city it, it feels relatively heavy so can you carry it up a flight of stairs for sure if you're a guy um, if you are a petite girl I would probably recommend you don't use this to actually carry up and down to your apartment um, uh, what I usually do is I either leave it um, in my garage um, or um, I do take it up the elevator yeah, it's obviously no problem um, all right, how does it feel to ride? It's pretty awesome. Acceleration is really nice. I'm gonna take you for a ride in a little bit and show you some other footage. Um, acceleration is really nice. Um, it feels uh, pretty smooth, uh, but I do not wanna lie, because of the wide and relatively thin wheels that you see here, and I'm gonna take the camera closer in a bit, um, you do feel a few bumps, but overall it's pretty comfortable. Um, I'd also like to say because of the wide wheels, when you go into turns, it takes a little bit of time to get used to it because the um, wide wheel will push the scooter back into the middle. So the turning radius on this one is wider than on other scooters that have wheels like this. Um, it does feel very stable. What I like is the pretty wide board. Um, and it uh, is quite comfortable to actually also be riding standing straight instead of with the smaller scooters where you always have to put your feet behind right here. Mm. It does have a front light and a back light. The back light is uh, working when you brake, even if the light is not turned on. And then um, at night when you have the front light on, the back light turns on, but you'll still see the brake light once it gets, um, it just gets lighter when you hit the brake. Um, it does have the uh, front and back suspension this makes it pretty awesome and uh, I can show you maybe a little bit how this looks like when you actually get on top of it and you you jump a little bit up and down you see that it feels really well built and really really sturdy so uh, that's definitely a plus um, it's not made from welded parts it's apparently all um, one die cast um, I mean, I'm not an engineer, I can't really judge. Uh, what's nice is that the battery is in the footboard and the motor's in the back. That means you don't have a front heavy scooter like a lot of the cheaper folding ones. So this one really feels like a nice uh, motorcycle on the road. 
All right, now let me just show you a little bit closer how this all looks like. Let's see here. back right here. Oh, yeah, a little bit about the um, disc brake. Um, if you have one on your bike, you do know that uh, this is not fully maintenance free, that eventually you need to like tighten them once in a while. And sometimes you'll also need after a few hundred miles, you will need um, to uh, change the, um, the brake pads. We obviously store them so uh, you can get uh, all the replacement parts here as well. Um, so, from the other side, you see here, it's a pretty straightforward, simple model. What I like about it is that it's sim simple, but powerful. So, that means uh, you uh, don't have a lot of shit that can break. Um, and that's obviously what we want. All right, and look at this. The back brake right here, um, a little bell. And that's the, um, that's the mechanism to open it. We're gonna do that in a second. And um, so you see how that works. Now here is the display. You turn it on by pressing a little longer and then it ramps up. And you see here, battery is full. Now, if you want to turn on the front light, you just press it once and the front light turns on and the back light turns on as you can see but I mean it's in the uh, in the light I can show you if I now pull the brake you see that it lights up at night it's much better visible all right now if you want to uh, reset or if you want to set the gear what you need to do is you press this for one second and then you see how the first one and the two white ones are blinking this is gear two if I take this one down, it's gear one. That's pretty much it. Now, folding mechanism, I have heard um, a few complaints about. Um, I actually do like it a lot because it's very tight and snug. So the advantage of those quick folding mechanisms is only takes you one minute, you kick it, you put it down, but then very often it rattles a little bit while you're driving. Well, this one doesn't, but you need to um, um, actually screw it open and then take it down. So let's see how that goes. You screw this around three, times or so if you screw it more than three times ultimately this screw will come out and you're gonna to have to put it back in um, no biggie uh, but you will surely that will surely happen to you and then you pull this out and take it down like this and then ultimately you want to screw it back tight so you can carry it away because all the weight is gonna be on the front one all right put this together Ah oh, yeah, before we do this, almost forgot. The uh, handlebar can actually nicely fold away as well. Um, I should have shown you that while we stood up. Um, I'll actually show you afterwards when we put it back together. And then you can carry it. You need to obviously find the right um, balance. So like that. This put together and easy. It's not light, but uh, no problem to carry it. All right, and let me put that back down. And now let's open this again. Screw this open a few times. Open here and screw it back together. All right, now the, uh, the handlebars up here. Here we go, number one, come together and the other one also come together and there you go the nice thing about it now it stores away you can actually move it on the side under a bed or something um, I never close them because I don't store it away in a tight space but if you uh, want to put it away over winter you can easily uh, open this up and it snaps back in no problem and there you go all right let's go for a ride all right uh, here we are now, riding test. Um, I'm going to take you uh, with my phone on the scooter and we're going to ride around a little bit. Um, now, it's not super easy to ride any scooter just with one hand. This one actually works, um, but if it's a little bit shaky, you know why. 
All right, so let's get this started. Two, three seconds until it starts going. There you go. Shows you second gear, full battery. That's it. All right, guys, well, uh, kick stand. And let's do it. So uh, this is the uh, max speed on the first setting. Um, you can see it's, I would say it's more like 12 miles an hour or so, maybe two, three times walking. Um, and now we're gonna set it to the second, to the second gear. Now second, uh, second gear setting, one second. Here we go, set it to the second gear. And again, second, and that's it. And now we're ready to go. So let's do this. And uh, you hear it's relatively smooth. Going faster again. So, uh, yeah, we see if we see anything on the wheels. All right, and that brings us to full speed. Um, all right, guys, I uh, hope uh, that is uh, good for you guys. Yeah, that was it. Thank you, guys, and happy scooting.